Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is kind of an interesting one. Um, it's products I can't stop using, which sounds like, you know, whatever. But these products are sitting on my desk and not a lot sits on my desk. Everything has a home and needs to be in that home when I'm done with them, no matter what it is, whether it's the makeup room, the kitchen, bath, like everything has a spot, go back to your spot. These things I am keeping out and I wanted to share them with you in case you're looking for some holy grail <laughs> products that you need, uh, these might work for you. So if you have similar taste in makeup to mine, if you have the same skin stuff as I do, oily in the T-zone, pretty much normal, some wrinkles because you're not 20 anymore, you may like some of these products as well. And so I wanted to share with you just in case. Also I wanna mention if you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do that. Ring the bell and choose all and YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. No worries, no stress, watch it, don't watch it. Either way, it's totally up to you. I'm also going to link in the description box below my niece Rachel's YouTube video. She and her sister, Anna, who is nine, have a YouTube channel. And yesterday, Rachel uploaded a makeup tutorial. So if you've got a few minutes, you should go check it out. It's worth your time. All right, let's get into it. My face is completely naked except for my eyes. I'm doing a separate video on this eye look. Not specifically this look, but the palette that I'm using. I've been using the same palette all week and I'm so excited to tell you about it. So there's a whole video coming on Monday about it. So come back and check it out on Monday. Okay, let's get into it. Brace yourself, my face is mostly naked. All right, I'm jumping right into it. I don't know yet what I'm gonna call this video, but I do know that for the most part, I wanna focus on some of the products that I just can't stop using. And so I thought I would talk about that, maybe chit chat a little bit. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm gonna start with the One Size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I started using this when I ordered it and received it and I haven't stopped. I really, really like this. I'm a little bit sad about that because, you know, um, another step, which isn't the worst thing, but also it's not cheap. So I'm just going to work this in mostly the center of my face, like where I have lots of pores and texture. I got that all worked in. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute to dry down a bit. This is also really, really good for oil control. This says an ultra blurring, pore refining primer with niacinamide that mattifies and evens out skin's texture as it grips makeup for flawless application and enhanced wear, apply before makeup. And I would definitely say that I agree with those claims. I think it does exactly what it says it's going to do. So I'm basing um, this whole products I can't stop using based on the criteria that it's still on my makeup desk. I, I'm a little bit neurotic. I firmly believe everything has a place and needs to be in that place, mostly because I hate wasting time looking for something. I don't misplace stuff because I always put things back where it belongs. It makes me crazy to struggle to do a task before I can even start doing the task. So everything gets put back and I really enjoy going to my drawers and looking for what I want to use. Speaking of which, if my uh, makeup storage and collection is something you want to see, let me know because I would definitely do a video about it. Um, but back on to the subject. I have three foundations sitting out, which is unheard of for me. I have a spot for foundations, they always go back there. But I'm re reaching for these three all the time, so they are sitting on my desk. So I thought I would show you the three of them and then choose one to use today. Two are drugstore. One is an old favorite, one is a recently in the last few months uh, discovered favorite, and then one is a very, very new discovered favorite that's not drugstore. So the first one I have is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Freshwear Foundation. 
and this is in the shade 465 Sand. I love this foundation, have loved it for a long time. The other one I'm loving a lot is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme 3-in-1 Foundation, and this is in the shade 840 Natural Beige. I'm loving this one too. I think that they look similar on the skin. They wear really nicely, at least for me. And then the third one is this RCMA Makeup Foundation. I cannot get enough of this. This is in the shade P230. This is one of the items I got from Beautylish. If you missed that video or those videos, I can link them below if you want to take a reconnoiter. I'm going to use the RCMA today. I've been using a lot of the other two this week. I've put makeup on every single day this week. I haven't left the house, but I have a new eyeshadow palette that I've been playing with, which is why I did my eyeshadow prior to coming on camera because I'm gonna do a whole video on it and I think that's gonna go up on Monday. So uh, if you're interested, come back and check on Monday for that video because if you like eyeshadow, you are not gonna wanna miss it. So I'm just gonna blend this in all over my face, avoiding my under eyes because I wanna use concealer and I'm 43 and so are my under eyes and they look it. So I try to avoid layering on too much product under my eyes so it doesn't look any worse than it has to. So I'm gonna do this and I will be right back. Foundations all worked in and I just wanted to mention, I've been using the EcoTools Plant Me sponge. Again, I can't put it down. I'm using it every time I do my foundation these days. I really like it a lot. This is my second one. I used up the first one. And the same story for concealer. I've been keeping this one on my desk. I use it every time I do my makeup. Um, and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer in the shade Light Honey. I've used this many, many times on my channel and off. And I have some high-end concealers that I like a lot. I don't think this one is particularly great for a lot of coverage, but I also don't have a whole lot that I need to cover. So I really like this one just for brightening up my under eyes and the different areas around my face. I really like this concealer. And I've never really addressed it before, but I am not a makeup snob. If a, what, $4 concealer is amazing, I'm gonna use it. If a $30 concealer is amazing, I'm gonna use that too. So I'm just gonna get this all blended in. Also worth mentioning is this sponge. It's the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. I love this so much. It's like super squishy, a little funky. It works really, really well for concealer and it's dirt cheap, it's e.l.f. Love it so much that I purchased two more. I just really like this sponge a lot. Specifically for, you know, concealer under my eyes, around my face, but also if I've gone in with a brush for my foundation, I'll just take that and dab it all over my face to absorb any excess foundation that I don't need on my face. Works great. I'm gonna blot over everything with my foundation sponge just to make sure there's no wrinkling, no weird settling or weird lines. My hair keeps attacking my face. The next product that I have not put away, I haven't even put it in the little um, storage containers that Refer sent me. This just stays on my desk and it's the By Terry Hyaluronic pressed powder. I am obsessed with this. And not obsessed like a YouTuber way, you know, obsessed. I mean, genuinely, I have not done my makeup without using this since I received it. I will absolutely have to repurchase this and keep it in my stash. It's so good. Though today, Nakia Joy is releasing something new. For you watching this, it'll be yesterday. 
very excited. I really hope it's a pressed powder. I've been saying for a long time, if she releases a pressed powder, she can just have all my monies because I will buy it. The other powder won't surprise you. It is the Nikia Joy um, Velvet Finishing Powder. It's a loose powder. This is the original one, so it's scented. It smells good. I like it. Um, and I'm going to use this to set the rest of my face. So I just take my little heart poof thingy that I got off of Amazon, and I just use this to set the rest of my face, avoiding my under eyes for now. I do use it anywhere I put uh, foundation. Let me just hit my forehead real quick with this sponge. I'm gonna go back in with my e.l.f. concealer sponge and just blend out any creasing that happened under my under eyes and apply whatever's left from my poof onto my under eyes. I don't add any more powder because my under eyes are not 20. It looks bad with a lot of powder, so BRB. Okay, I put on my two little beauty marks and I'm back to do brows. I actually have several brow products on my desk that I keep out. I have a little, little acrylic drawer system. It's got four small drawers, two and two, and then three larger drawers. And one of the drawers is literally absolutely full to the top with brow products. But I'm not reaching for those. One of the things I use all the time is the NYX Lift and Snatch um, eyebrow marker. The other is the Maybelline New York Brow Fast Sculpt. I love this stuff. I also have my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in the shade Deep Brown. And then the last thing is the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony in Deep Brown. This is the dual ended one with the brow pencil on one end and the gel on the other end. I almost hate choosing. I either use the NYX and the Maybelline gel or the Maybelline pencil and the Maybelline gel or I use both of the Rare Beauty products. If I'm wanting just a fast, thicker, you know, just brow, I really like the Rare Beauty. If I'm looking for a very brow-like, hair strokes, you know, really fluffy, natural looking brow, I use the uh, NYX Lift and Snatch with the Maybelline Brow, brow Fast Sculpt. Today, I think I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty. When I first got this, I got it in a BoxyCharm. I wasn't entirely sure how I felt about it. Didn't love the size of this pencil, and I still don't love the size, but I love both of these products. They are available at Sephora. I may actually pick up more. I shouldn't because I do have a drawer full of brow products, so I really should. I should stop. I should just work my way through what I already have. And then when all that's gone, I'll get the Rare Beauty. That's what I should do. I just really, really like the Rare Beauty so, so much. And a lot of times I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't use this. It's, you know, expensive. It's my good stuff. I have since stopped doing that. If I like a product, I am going to use it no matter the price tag. I enjoy using them, so I should use them. I'm not saving things for special occasions or so I don't run out. If I run out, they make more. So I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll be back. Brow pencils on. I'm gonna wait and do the gel after I finish my face. That way it takes out any kind of powderiness that happens while I'm using the rest of my powder face products. 
Next product that has been residing on my desk that I haven't put away is this Kevin Aquan, the sculpting powder in the shade medium. Mm. I'm loving this. I do use the Natasha Denona one as well, but that one is in the drawer with the other face products. This one doesn't get put away. And I've started using this Refer number four face brush. It's angled, it's fluffy, so it applies it really, really nicely. And then I like to use this flat pencil. It's stubby, I think it's probably pencil? No, it's a brush. <laughs> I like to use this brush. It's, I believe, a smudger brush. Um, any smudger brush would work. It's got very stiff bristles. And then I just work it underneath my bottom lip. And then I turn my brush so it's going this way. And then just rub back and forth. Blend, blend, blend. It creates a bit of a shadow, giving the illusion that I have a larger bottom lip than I do. And then just a tiny bit in my divot, whatever that divot's called, to kind of enhance my Cupid's bow. Back on the desk. Love that stuff. All right, I'm gonna go off camera, do blush, bronzer, and highlight because nothing is screaming at me to use on the daily. So I'm gonna do that and then I will come right back. While I was off camera, I finished up my under eye and on my face, I just went in with my Ofra and Samantha March um, bronzer duo in the shade River. In fact, all three of the products I used are the Ofra and Samantha March um, collab. And I used the highlight in Start Inspired. And my blush is the duo called Chiclet. So all really good products, huge fan, really, really like them. And I like Samantha March. She's pretty cool. If you haven't seen any of her videos, go check her out when you've got some time. I enjoy them. Next up is actually two things. It's the new Refer number 30 brush. This is part of their holiday collection release. And then my Dior uh, backstage face and body powder, no powder in the shade two neutral. I have a darker shade for the summertime and I picked up this lighter one because I love it. I use this after everything is done except for lips and brow gel. A lot of times I'll even do it before um, highlighter so I don't spread the highlight all over my face. But I just go in with this kind of around where are the edges of where I put everything, bronzer and blush. And then my forehead, I do try to avoid doing it after I put on highlight, but I forgot today. I really like this, just softens up everything. And it's got a bit of a glow, but not glowy. I think it just lends kind of a natural finish to my skin because I do use a lot of powder. I'm super oily, so uh, powder is <laughs> my BFF. Okay, and so now it's time to go with the Rare Beauty Gel. This is a tinted brow gel, itty bitty brush, and I just like to brush it through like this. It helps the hairs in front stand up where I want them to. Just really nice and this stuff holds like my brows could probably withstand hurricane force winds they're not moving and I like that because they typically want to just lay down take a nappy poo and I need them to stay standing one of us has to stand and last but not least, before I do my lip and mascara, I want to go in with the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Still really, really liking this. And I do have the larger bottle in my cart for the Sephora VIB sale. I think 
I think I might get it. The last thing that stays on my desk and does not get put away is my Rare Beauty Mascara. I've mentioned this many, many times. I love it so much. That and my Refer Eyelash Curler. Two amazing products. They don't go anywhere. I use them every single day. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on the mascara and then I'll come back and show you my lashes before I apply falsies. All right, and these are my lashes with the mascara on. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not, but I think it does great things for my lashes. And I don't have a go-to lip. I love most of my lip products equally. So I'm just gonna throw on a quick lip and some false lashes and I'll come back and we'll wrap All this right, up. I'm back. I wanna mention two last products. How many last, last products can I mention? This is the Velour uh, Lash and Go Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid. I picked this up a while ago. I believe I included it in one of my haul videos. Said I'd get around to it at some point. Wasn't even sure why I ordered it. Um, apparently, subconsciously, I'm smarter than I am because this stuff is amazing. It also stays right on my desk. I do have the Kiss Lash Glue Liner as well, which I really like. I like the convenience of that. I like that it's easy enough to reapply if the corner of my lash pops off. It's pretty nifty. However, with this lash glue, no corner pops off. Once it's on, it's on it, until I pull the lashes off. And what is also very, very cool is that it comes off with a regular uh, makeup remover. Just whatever I'm using to wash my face, that lash glue comes off. The other one, I have to use some micellar water on a Q-tip, not the end of the world. I don't mind it at all, but this is just a tiny bit easier. So if you're looking for a new lash glue that goes on easy, wears beautifully, comes off easy, check out the Velour one. It's so, so good. And then my lashes are Makeup Geek lashes in the shade or style, in the style Graceful. I've worn these over and over and over again. I cut them down so they're mostly just a corner lash. I love these so much. And with that, that is everything. I'd like to say, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, now's a great time to do that. I am uploading three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm having so much fun. And I like chatting with you in the comment section. So leave me a comment, anything. I appreciate it. I also wanna say that um, my nieces have a YouTube channel and the oldest one who is 11, her name is Rachel, uploaded a makeup tutorial yesterday. I thought it was absolutely amazing. If you've got a few minutes, go check it out. I'm gonna link her video below. I'll also link my Beautylish videos, the last two that I recorded in the description box in case you missed them and wanna check them out. And come back on Monday for Monday's video because it's going to be so good. I hope. It, it seems like it should be good. I have a lot of good stuff to say, so at least that part will be good. Okay, that's it. Be good and remember to be kind to you.